Hey guys, today we are going to be reviewing my setups and I'm going to be showing you guys some setups you can make with just a few items. <laughs> going to be looking at today is my editing setup so this is kind of what it looks like um this is my monitor like my main monitor and then i have my computer here which is a macbook air um the intel version of the processor here i have my apple magic keyboard just a regular one because it doesn't have a thing then I have my magic mouse too and they're all they're hooked up to my system um this is a two terabyte um hard hard drive external hard drive because after editing so many videos for my chan for all my different for all my different channels I needed an extra drive in order to store everything and even this is starting to get filled up it's got two terabytes on it I don't know if I already mentioned that but these are my adapters because you know USB C Thunderbolt. So this is a VG um a Dell VGA adapter so that I could hook up to that monitor. Now this adapter is like my like bigger one that I carry around. It's got two SD ports, two USB ports, the USB C port in for charging, and then it's got an HDMI port down there. So, and then over here, we have a USB hub with four USBs, but it can only do two at a time because I don't have an external power supply plugged in. It's got this USB, which leads up to my webcam, which I use mostly when I'm on Discord, chats, or FaceTime since it is a Mac. Let's move on to my next setup. If some of you guys are subscribed to my Neek Bones gaming channel. You'll see that a long time ago, like I want to say like a few months, like nine months ago, or a little more probably, um, I did a video called Review of My Setup, which was me basically reviewing my gaming setup, which was on this wall. It was like a folding table, and but this is going to be the this is the new one. So. I have my LG Ultra Gear monitor at 165 hertz, and it's an awesome monitor. Although my PS4 can only output 60, so it doesn't really help. Here I have my my Razer my Razer Sonochroma V2 keyboard, same one from the other video. An LTC Circle Pit mouse. Now I have this Razer Death Adder Essential. And since this monitor doesn't have built-in speakers, unlike my old TV, TV over there, I may have saw it, catch it in my last video. I have, I have a speaker. I have speak. I have like a pair of desk speakers. Now I've had these forever. Now I also have this Amazon Alexa. I also have this really awesome set. I really have this awesome PS4 thing right here. Same PS4 as last time. I have this charger which charges the controllers. Now you may be thinking, how does that thing, char how does this thing charge my controllers? Well, the way it does is because on the bottom of all the PS4 controllers, sorry, there is a little EXT port and it just charges them off of that. It looks like USB-C, but it's actually not. Over here on this side, it's got a cooler, the cooler button, USB pass-through, and then a USB up to here, and then I have this USB hub four port where I have this keyboard, the mouse, and then I had something else hooked up to it that I don't remember what used to be, but I think I'm... I unplugged it. So, obviously, this HDMI cable going to this beautiful monitor. 
and then that power cable comes down here. Now, something that wasn't in the last one was this. So, me and my mom help, help my mom helped me hang up all of these PlayStation boxes. Up there, I had a Mario Kart Live box, and if you haven't seen Mario Kart Live, you could go check out my other video up in the cards. Um, and basically, that's what that is. And then over here, I have some pictures that I want to hang up of my favorite YouTubers that are cut, they look like plaques. And yeah, and then behind here, you may have seen these, these two things. These are light bars that I, that I have. And then I also have, still have the LEDs. Um, and I have this thing from last video, which used to be on like that shelf that used to be there. Now, my sound bar, what happened to that? So eventually my setup was moved over here, but you didn't see it. And I have the this the sound same sound bar from the from the last video, and it still works. I just don't really use it as much because you can't really do ARC arc on this monitor. This setup is my Retro Max setup. So this is an iMac G5 that I've been meaning to fix up. Um, I have I have an old classic Apple keyboard here, and then I have this mouse. My old, my really old gaming mouse. And then this is kind of what it looks like on the side. Disk drive. And then it's just got those plugged into it and it's not plugged in itself. So yeah, this is a very little setup. There's nothing that crazy about it, to be honest. It's just like a, one of those little setups you have just, just for looks. That's kind of what the setup is. Next setup. This setup is just my, mainly my virtual machine setup, I like to call it. So this setup is basically, it's got this computer, it's basically got this like old display link HP um, docking station, my mom likes to call it. And then I have this, this laptop hooked up with a single USB cable to this big USB hub. And it's got display support and Ethernet. And then it's hooked up to this monitor. And this computer has VMware workstation since even though I edit on a Mac and have a Mac there, I still need to keep a, keep a Windows computer around for those tasks that require Windows. And especially virtual machines are, in my opinion, a lot better on the um windows setup than they are on the mac setup so let's get dive in a little closer so i have this keyboard mouse combo this lg uh, not lg logitech wireless keyboard and mouse combo setup over here i have like a light a little light up mouse pad over here i have this headphone stand that i don't really use um, I have these two Dell P910S monitors. Um, they work really well, and they, they're both connected through DVI to this computer, but I have, like, a little adapter. So, this computer, Dell Inspiron 5520, it's got a Intel Core i5 in it, and it's got, it works really well, runs Windows runs Windows 7 because I don't feel like upgrading this thing to Windows 10 because when I did it was very slow so I downgraded um and it's got so my not as much important stuff as my MacBook does although it does have some some stuff that I like to just keep on it um so and then I have this this thing which powers pretty much the whole setup which is this HP 3005PR USB 3.0 port replicator. So it's got um, display port, HDMI, Ethernet, USB Type B. It's got audio ports here, here, and then it's got four USBs, and then it's power port, and then it's got two USBs in the front. So it's got a bunch of ports, and these monitors are both four-port hubs, but I don't have the hubs themselves hooked up yet. 
So, all right, let's go into the to my next setup. So this place right here, this is where all of the Tower Tech tutorial videos are filmed. This is what I film on actually. I just put my tripod like this. And over here, the main setup I'm actually going to be reviewing, this setup, which is basically my casual gaming setup, I guess is the way you would put it. It's like all of my entertainment setup. So I have a, P a PlayStation 3, DirecTV box, um, I have a Wii U, I have a Nintendo Switch, I charge my Oculus here too, and then I have my PS1, which I made a video on with my, with my best buddy on our other electronic channel that we don't post on anymore a while ago. You can go check that out up in the cards. <laughs> um, and then I got this big Sony Bravia TV, I have this, um, this like sound system. It still sounds really, really good. Um, and this setup, I have my Wii sensor bar and camera. Mario Kart Live, you could go check that out up in the cart. Um, and a whole bunch of games. And basically, this is where I store all my games in here. This, this is what it looks like. Um... So it's ba I gotta clean it up, but the that's like what this is where I store all, all all my games. Now this TV was used in my Apple TV video, my recent one. Now that I use over there. Um. I, now over here I have this this thing right here, this big bookshelf, which I store all bunch of stuff. So I have stuff up here. Um, I have boxes and a projector down here. And here is Cable Land, where I just store cables and stuff like that. I have a whole bunch of mouses, actually. There's my old TC circle pit. A whole bunch of keyboards, some flash pads, a netbook, believe it or not. Um, just some random stuff, just some games. And in a microphone. And here I have what's called a monitor and some other, so a whole bunch of laptops. This monitor doesn't work anymore, actually. I need to fix that. Two, de I have two desktops over here, and I have another desk over here. Now, what do I sit in? So this is my gamer chair. It's very comfy. I love it. So... That is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye.